We can make things move and make things shake. <laughs> okay, I'm not out of fits. Never out of fits. No basic zone. and welcome, welcome back to another day in the stush life so in this vlog we will be prepping for a weekend getaway i'm actually headed to dallas texas this weekend and we are actually celebrating my twin's birthday my twin onika's birthday so in this video we'll be doing some packing we'll be doing a little self-care to prep ourselves for the trip so before we start today's video off don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up down below make sure you also subscribe to my youtube channel down below Make sure down below go ahead go ahead and subscribe okay and be sure to also follow me on instagram at the stitch life because i will definitely be taking a lot of pictures while i'm out there so now that we got the intro out of the way i already told you guys in this vlog we're going to be doing some packing and and prepping for this weekend getaway so my twin's birthday is actually june 8th and we're going to be celebrating early but before we get into this video i do have to edit I thought today was Tuesday, child, because Memorial Day messed me up in the head. Memorial Day was Monday. The whole day yesterday, I was thinking it was Monday when it was actually Tuesday, okay? So what did I have to do when I came home today? I had to get I had to come home, do a quick face, and record a video that also needs to go up today, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, okay? And I thought yesterday was Monday. So we were all messed up with the days. My recording schedule got thrown off. It was my own fault, honestly. I don't know why I thought we had Monday two days in a row, child. So I say this all to say that I need to actually go and edit the video that needs to go up today. That you guys should have seen already. That would have been my May product empties video. So I'm about to do that and then when I get back, I'm going to start packing with you guys. Because even though today is actually Wednesday, I need to prep myself to leave for Friday. I'm a girl that likes to have herself ready a few days in advance i don't like doing stuff last minute i am not a last minute girl i'm very much so an on-time girl an organized girl and a prepared girl okay okay i was doing this the whole time so yeah let me go ahead and edit these videos and then when i get back we can chat and before i go i just want to pat myself on the, on the shoulder because this is my third video and i'm praying that i could get all three of these edited and uploaded before i leave so fingers crossed but yeah i'll be back let me stop chatting bye so your girl is tired well this is the third video at this point i'm tired basically i'm tired so i wanted to pack tonight well i'm staying ready to start packing but i wanted to create a tiktok i wanted to record a video doing like a quick like pack with me for tiktok so but a lot of my clothes is already in the suitcase but i want to like lay them out and like create a tiktok but your girl is tired so what i think i'm gonna do tonight is like pack my makeup and my jewelry and then tomorrow before or while I'm doing that TikTok, I'll pack the clothes with you guys. But right now, I'm going to wash my face, take this makeup off, wash my face, shave my face. I'm most likely going to record the shaving my face part, part, and then I'm going to shower like on my own time. And um, hopefully by then, I'm not too tired <laughs> to pack my jewelry and my makeup. So let's go ahead and take the face off. I also have Rico on the phone, so enjoy the music. And I'm in my new bathroom. Still not complete. Still waiting for the shower door. If you know, you know. If you've been keeping up with the last few vlogs, um, we've been riding with our bathroom. It's not complete as yet. That's why you're not seeing the whole thing. But enjoy this little, little, little quick preview. Okay.
all right y'all <laughs> it's pouring outside but baby we move because i don't have time on my side so it's like 10 o'clock i have work tomorrow so i really need to like pack my makeup and go to bed i've already like put my fragrances in the bag but i'll show you guys what i'm packing tomorrow when i show you guys what clothes i'm packing so 10 13 is my bedtime i have work early in the morning so i'm gonna just run through what i'm putting in my makeup bag so i'm actually bringing my merit beauty makeup bag this one right here um i can't find my other black makeup bag i used it when i went to florida i don't know where that's at so we just gonna use this one i bring this one every now and then so when i'm packing my makeup i start at the top and work my way to the bottom of the list i always start how i start off how, how i start my face so normally when i'm doing my makeup right i'm starting off I'm starting off with my brow products. So I'm going to put my brow products in here first. My Goof Proof Pencil and my Merit um, and my Merit Brow Pomade. And I also use my NARS Concealer. So I put that in here. Then I go in and prime my face. So I'm going to bring my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is going to be good for the Texas Heat Child. Again, please disregard the rain. I'm sure it's like my background music at this point. But hopefully that will be therapeutic. But yet, being that it's going to be like... 90 degrees in texas when i go i need to make sure my makeup stays on so i'm bringing my milk hydro get primer so bringing these two huda I'm trying to decide if i just want to bring my huda but i think i'll bring my dior too just to balance it out a little bit huda foundation and my dior face and body concealer nars almonde almond concealer creamy concealer and i'm bringing my uma booty uma beauty scope stick right after we do that put on a cream blush y'all yeah, know i usually set with powder that i put on my cream blush either or but cream blush i'm bringing my rare beauty just because it's a little smaller it's a smaller container compared to like a blush palette or a blush palette or something like that so i'm bringing this and it can also double as like a lippy eyeshadow if you really want it to so i'm bringing this also bringing my mini one size beauty setting powder this is like bay at this point this is all i've been using since i got it and i like the fact that it's a mini i don't have to bring my jumbo um laura mercier powder so i'm bringing this then then i'm gonna pack my airbrush flawless finish powder from charlotte tilbury this is bay i need to get a mini so i can pack the mini and not bring around this big thing i mean it is pretty sleek so it's not that big of a deal packing this pack in two of my lys products this is my rose gold highlighter so this is my highlighter i'll usually bring my laura geller little mini highlighter don't know where she's at it might be in my makeup bag that i came on um and i'm also bringing the bronzer so i'm gonna pack these two i'm bringing my flawless finish setting spray from charlotte tilbury i'm hoping this is enough for the days that i'm there i think it will be but effective immediately when i get home i gotta throw this out I, I might actually actually leave the bottle in the dollar shop also bringing my el maquillage and mascara i'm a pack my lashes i'm bringing just one pair this is the style ceo it's gonna be good for wherever i go okay it's kind of like caparel it's gonna be good for wherever you go okay so i'm bringing ceo as well and for lippy i'm bringing my newest baby this is the mac the pencil this is the color chestnut yeah i probably can't see this because g7 x she ain't gonna pick up nothing it don't matter what you tell a child and then i'm keeping the lippy pretty simple i'm actually going to bring my tart lipstick this is the shade rum punch nice little nude that could be worn everywhere and anywhere nighttime daytime anytime i'm also gonna bring my nyx butter gloss if i don't feel like you know putting on that lipstick i could bring it. i can have this this is like a more natural nude and anywhere i go she goes that's my patrick's hot lip gloss in the shade she's expensive okay and then i also like to bring my um liquid liner to draw on my to to add some more definition to my molds that get covered along the way so i'm gonna pack that i'm also bringing this lancome blue li blue liner just if i want to add like a pop of color in my waterline because i'm not bringing any um eyeshadow palettes at least i don't think i am if i do it's gonna be a small one i normally bring one and i still don't use it so it's like girls leave it at home but we'll see and i'm gonna bring my little capra nyc mirror in my bag and my makeup bag is pretty much packed the only thing that i'm missing from this really is um maybe another lippy i might pack like a liquid lipstick i just gotta look over my outfits again but i don't think i'm gonna do liquid lipstick at all i like me a glossy lip um and 
might need a little setting another little setting spray but i think this should be enough for sure so makeup bag is packed she's ready to go i'm most likely just gonna bring this with me this is my sephora brush um folder it has four brushes in here i just need to take my put my contour brush in here as well i recently washed it powder brush a blush brush like a pointer brush and a contour brush so i'm gonna bring that and i'm also gonna bring a sponge with me and that's it that's what we need baby we get to go if i know i said i was gonna shave my face on camera but y'all have seen me shave my face before ain't nothing new i just use a razor and go through it and go over my whole face um i get my razors from sephora and that's pretty much it okay so i'll be seeing you guys manana after i get out of work because i have a lot to do but i'll see y'all tomorrow this rain is about to put me right to bed girl mm. hey y'all okay <laughs> today is thursday june 2nd right vlog started yesterday june 1st i don't even know if i told you guys today but y'all know what time you, you guys know the date always pops up on the screen but I'm currently packing my jewelry. I told you guys I would pack my jewelry with you guys. I have all my outfits laid out. I haven't packed this yet because I want to pack with you guys. And I actually want to make a quick TikTok. I think I told you guys that yesterday. Let me stop rambling. It's 6.16. I still need to edit this video and try to have it ready to go up on Sunday. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm not making no promises, but fingers crossed. So first things first, whenever I travel on that, I like taking pictures in my outfits before I even pack them, okay? Because that way, I know what they look like. That way, I know what accessories I need to pack. That way, I know I have an outfit for every single event, every single every single event, every single activity that I'm going to be doing on the trip. So, I did go ahead and take some pictures in my outfits. In my, oh, in my messy room, don't mind the room, but like, I took pictures in the outfits just to see like what the vibe was given. So... Being that I have pictures in the outfits, I was able to pick out certain accessories based on certain outfits. It's a quick tip if you want to try to stay organized and plan efficiently, try to take pictures in your outfits. It'll help you get dressed a lot quicker when you're not searching for outfits the day of. You have everything laid out so you can literally scroll through the pictures like, okay, what do I feel like wearing today? That's how I like to vacate, okay? So, just going to show you guys the items that I picked out, the jewelry items that I picked out to bring with me. So, I always like to bring a hoop this is my square pair this is actually from Shein I have, I have two pairs of these because I love them so much these square hoops and y'all can see with the bob you can see them oh, oh, oh wait a minute girl don't you know I am but yeah I like these also brought some chunky hoops these right here these are actually from forever 21 and don't clap my nail y'all probably will be seeing it i still have to fix that tonight one of my kids popped it off today fun working in schools i also picked these out i don't even remember where i think i got these at forever 21 but i purchased them some years ago i've only worn them once in the past i'm gonna pull them back out i have an all green outfit you probably saw that in the pictures that i want to probably wear these with to brunch Hopefully I can't hear the TV downstairs, but the TV on TV is on. I also have these marble hoops, smaller hoops. Like they're like medium size ish, sh medium size ish hoops that I purchased in a set of three from Forever 21 or H and M. I featured them in a vlog. And then still working on earrings. I'm also bringing these Madewell heart earrings. I love these so much. I purchased these at Nordstrom Rack y'all see like these are pretty simple earrings they're still statement pieces you could wear them with regular fits you could wear them with dressed up fits so yeah i got that and i also am bringing these flower earrings that will most likely be worn to brunch another little statement earring you could see it even with the bob so those are all the earrings that i'm bringing y'all probably like damn girl that's a lot of earrings. but um really and truly i have a few different outfits and realistically i like to pack two daytime outfits and then one nighttime outfit um because sometimes you do like brunch in the at noon and then you come home change do a little quick run somewhere and then usually we go out in the nighttime so i pack one night outfit so i'm staying for three days friday saturday sunday three full days so and we leave on monday so yeah i pack two i try to pack two day outfits so you know we can make things move make things shake <laughs> okay i'm not out of fits never out of fits so moving on to bracelets, I packed these two, or bangles, I packed these two bangles, I purchased these from Forever 21, I also love these. And I also have this gold, and I also have this gold, hopefully the camera's picking it up, 
bracelet as well i actually purchased this at a pop-up shop that i was lucky enough to um table at for my business capra nyc a couple of years ago black owned business i don't remember the name of the business but i love this bracelet like it's stretchy but it's of great quality um and i also am bringing my mark jacobs watch because as you guys could tell i have a lot of gold things in here because a lot of my outfits require gold accessories i don't think i have anything that requires any silver accessories so i got my mark jacobs watch i thought about bringing my apple watch but the last time i brought my apple watch somewhere girl I lost it along with a ton of other things. I have a story time about it. I'll leave it linked up above and down below. It's a pretty old video, so y'all will see. But yeah, I spoke about that in the past, so make sure y'all check that video out. And then I'm only bringing one necklace, and it is this B necklace, B initial necklace with that pearl dropping, that pearl drip drop. And yeah, it's kind of like a choker. Yeah. So I'm bringing that because one of my outfits may require a necklace. And then I'm bringing just a few rings. You're probably like, damn, girl, for three days, you know, stop. Yeah, girl, I do. I actually do. I'm bringing these two rings. I got this in a set on Shein. It came with a few other colors, but I'm bringing these two. Y'all have probably, have probably seen these a million times, um, but they're also available on Amazon. So I'll leave links down below if I can find them. I'm bringing this ring. It's one of my faves. I think I got this at Forever 21. No, I got this at Shein too, girl. Shein. I'm bringing this ring, nice ring for like brunch, even night out. I think I purchased this probably from Shein too, don't quote me. And then I'm bringing one of my favorite rings, this crystal looking ring right here. This crystal little number right here. It's not real crystal, not to my knowledge. I got this downtown somewhere in Manhattan. So yeah, that's all I'm bringing for jewelry. I'm going to put, oh excuse me, I'm going to put it in this pink pouch. I get a lot of these when I order from small businesses. They like to send these with like thank you cards, sometimes the products in here. So I like to just put all my jewelry in here and pack it up. I'm most likely gonna be wearing my watch, so I'll leave that out. So yeah, I'll leave that out. Jewelry is packed. And then I just want to share the sunglasses that I'm bringing because those are accessories as well. I'm not going to share the bags because I, mean, I feel like the bags don't really matter unless you see the outfits. I'm not going through all the outfits. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Y'all will see all the outfits over there whenever I drop those. Make sure you follow me over there. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at the Stitch Life. Y'all will only see me pack them in the bag child today because I have a lot that I need to get done and it's 6 o'clock. So let me show y'all the sunnies that I'm bringing. I'm only bringing four <laughs> so i'm bringing these i'm bringing these burberry sunnies i got these at nordstrom rag maybe like three years ago love these i have one outfit to wear these with i'm also bringing these burberry shades that i got at Saks off fifth you guys saw me pick these up in a vlog with lily a couple of months ago i'm bringing these i have two outfits to wear this with and i'm bringing up pink my pink shades but those are in my car so i have to get those and so you're not gonna see those but the last ones that you will see are these desi shades these backtrack shades one outfit or two outfits to wear this with so yeah those are the sunnies and let me show y'all the jewelry since i did say last night i was going to show y'all the jewelry not the jewelry sorry the perfume that i'm packing not a lot i'm bringing all travel side stuff so <laughs> you know you know you know we got to keep it under 50 pounds and technically less than that because i'm only bringing a carry-on i'm not checking any bags so yeah we got to keep it the weight down <laughs> okay so i have all my fragrances and this milk baggie right here very cute i'm bringing my kayali pink pepper Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. This is most likely going to be my nighttime scent. Um, I want you to hug me and be like, oh, oh, girl, what is that? You smell really good. That's why I'm bringing this. So, oh, yeah. This the one. This the one. This the one. I like wearing this in the daytime, too. But I feel like since we're moving into, like, the fresh, the florals, the um, more lighter scents, this would be a good nighttime scent. So, I'm bringing this. I'm also bringing my Nest Turkish Rose perfume oil. Why it sound like the TV went up? 
a little bit the volume increased and i'm the only one in the house i don't understand that but i'm bringing my nest turkish rose perfume oil Ooh, i feel like i can mix this with pretty much all the other fragrances that i'm bringing today that i'm bringing with me so that's why i'm bringing that um this is not a fragrance but it is fragrant um so i'm bringing this as well and i need to glow i need to glow in the sun so i'm bringing my tom ford sole blanc shimmering body oil love she brunch this is the one this is the one that is the one if you are even going outside in the daytime at any point you need to put that on like for the summer and this for the summer make sure you pick that up that if you don't get anything in this video make sure you buy that like that thing smells so good child so good but i'm also bringing my Miu Miu twist this is a really good daytime scent really good like i could wear this every single day and be totally fine if i pack nothing else like i'd be fine with just the Miu Miu twist but we have to have options i'm also bringing my wave from by Giorgio armani another goodie another thing that if i pack nothing else this would be just fine <laughs> That smells really good as well. And the last one that I'm bringing is actually Alien Goddess. This is by Terry Mugler. And oh, this paired with this, match made in heaven. Screenshot. Remember I told you. Match made in heaven. I thought about bringing my Gucci Guilty Intense Porfem. But I think I could do without it. I think Miss Kelly. It's gonna get the job done for the nighttime. I think we do. I think we'll be just fine. I also have this little Dolce & Gabbana light bloom, as if I need any more options. But you know, a girl likes options. So those are all the fragrances that I'm bringing. The biggest thing that you guys saw was my um, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc shimmering body oil. So yeah, that's it for fragrance. For a for, for speak fragrance. Also. I just want to share that I'm also bringing this. I'm bringing this fan. I saw it in like three reels on Instagram. This fan, this handheld fan is coming from Target. I paid $5. Quick thing, when did the bullseye section at Target become so expensive? I feel like something like this used to be $3. Why is it now 5 I feel like everything in that section is $5. Things used to be $2, $1. Everything in there is $5. Am I bugging? Anyways, I got this fan. It has a built-in rechargeable battery. So I'm going to bring this with me, the little chargers at the top. The temperature in Texas right now, baby, is very hot. And I can't be without <laughs> some cool breeze, so I'm bringing that. I'm also bringing... Oh, I almost about to forget my brushes. I'm also bringing this that I picked up from Amazon the other day. I'm actually going to give it a trial run today because I'm going to film a quick TikTok. I told you guys that. Who can guess what this is? If you're on TikTok, you probably have seen this before. But it's a tripod. And you're like, girl, where? How? What? <laughs> yeah. There's a little button right here that you press. And hopefully I could do this with nails on when I get to Florida, girl. Or when I get to Texas, girl. I'm not saying Florida. Child. So this button that you press opens up like this. And you see the tripod starts to magically extend. So yeah, I'm bringing this with me. Actually, I should open it, seeing, being that I'm about to use it. But I'll update you guys. Oh, I didn't show you guys this part right here is your connector for your iphone and it extends and it swivels a bit as well so i found that that was really cool and this was probably like i want to say this was 34 dollars on amazon but one of the things that i really like about it is the fact that um well, I like this and I dislike the fact that it has its own remote right here. So I like it because it's like, oh, it comes with a remote. You don't have to like go out and purchase an extra, an additional remote. Why I dislike it though is because, do you see how small this remote is? Child, if I lose this, then what? Where can I purchase another one? Does it even, can I even purchase it separately? I don't know. So fingers crossed I don't lose it, child. Fingers crossed I don't lose it. But I did pick this up. They have it in a few different colors. This is most likely going to be the tripod that I bring with me for all of my little trips, even when I'm taking pictures in New York. Um, because my other tripod is just too heavy and yeah, it's just too heavy, girl. This is compact. I can travel with it. Like it it's light. The other one I couldn't even <laughs> do this really and truly. So yeah, I also picked this up. 
and I'm gonna bring her with me. And, oh, I picked something else up. I picked this up as well, not as if I don't have enough lights, right? I picked this light up as well, hold on. Oh, blinding. And it has different settings, so you could change it. Yellow light, translucent light, you know. And you could turn it up or down, I'm sorry for blinding y'all. And it also is rechargeable, so it comes with a little charger right here. So I'm bringing this and you can clip it right onto your phone, just like that. So I'm also gonna test this out when I make that little TikTok, so. All of these can be found in my Amazon shop. I'll go ahead and link those for y'all right, well, before this video, before I upload this video. I'll try to link it, because I have a lot of things up in the medulla, so, yeah, girl. So let me go ahead and do this TikTok really quickly. All right, so what I'm gonna do is show y'all what my setup looks like. I'm actually using my bathroom floor. <laughs> I got a little sleep peek, sneak peek to the bathroom. But I'm using my bathroom floor. Don't watch that. We need to put a new um, light in there. We're waiting for the bathroom people to do that, actually. See, they're delayed with everything. But, um, yeah, I'm using my bathroom floor to record these videos for TikTok. So, let me show y'all just one fit. And I'm putting fragrance and everything in there, accessories and everything. So, look. This is how it's set up. Still waiting for them to cover the vent. See? So, this is what I'm saying. This is just how it's set up. I have my phone right here. I'm gonna put my light on it, so yeah. First of all, my back hurts from bending over to lay out these outfits, child. I don't know how your TikTok girls do it. I don't know, but I wanted to hop on it. So here we are. I did post a reel a little while ago. I need to check that out. But um, I need to clean up this bathroom, child. But I need to clean up this bathroom because I have things everywhere now because I decided I want to, wanted to don't mind the nippies. I decided I wanted to um, film this TikTok video. But now that I got that out of the way, I feel like I can really pack. Because I've been waiting to do that um, since yesterday. I was just way too tired yesterday. I could not do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to open my titties. Like, that's so rude. That's so rude. Okay. I'm literally packing the stuff back in the baggies. I shared fragrance, a bag, um, jewelry, and all of that in this little TikTok. I didn't film all my outfits because, baby, I would have been here all day. I don't got time for that. We have other things to do. So I just filmed four outfits, I think. Four or five outfits. Okay. Something like that. Um, but that's done now. So I can finally pack. I'm going to set y'all up. And I'm going to put on a little... But a musica that I can vibe out to while I pack. Because um, ain't no explaining. I'm going to roll all of these. Key to packing efficiently is to roll all your stuff. At least that's how I do it. I roll all my things. Oh, I'm bringing this back tomorrow. I don't even know why. I um, am acting like I'm packing that up. Because that's actually going to be my travel bag. So, quick update about this tripezzy. I like it. I really do like it. Um, the remote, I got it to work. I just had to hold the button down to turn it on. My phone is hot though because she's been doing a lot. But I do like it. I'm excited to bring it with me and get some content on it. So, yeah, I like it. And I feel like pretty good price for this. Not going to lie. Pretty good price for it. Now, where did I put that little? Remote, see? All right, you're losing shit, girl. Where did I put that remote? And this, game changer. I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't really put it on top of my phone because it started to tilt the tripod. This is kind of heavy. But I do have another little ring light that I could use on um, the replacement. Here it goes. Okay. So you just have to hold it down to the little ring light. I'm gonna hold it back down. Hopefully that turns it off. Okay, yeah, that turned it off. And I'm just gonna snap it back in here. Not gonna lie, it is kind of tricky to snap in and snap out. That I will say. I have to use my damn teeth to get it out, girl. <laughs> One thing about me, I'm gonna use my teeth to open anything. That's just stone period. I have sharp teeth, so I'm gonna use it. Well, I have a sharp tooth. So let me set y'all up. Let's get to packing. 
Don't ask me why I'm doing that. After I pack, um, I'm probably going to end the vlog off because I still have to fix it now. Still have to near my legs. Find something to eat. And what else do I have to do? I have to take out the garbage too. So, yeah. Probably going to end the vlog out so I can start editing. It's currently 7.32. Let's try to get this done by 8 o'clock. majority of my things um i just have to look through the suitcase again but i pretty much packed the majority of my things i just need to add um boob well nipple covers i need to add um a pair of socks i need to write this down <laughs> that's my phone let me write this down before i forget y'all nipple covers a pair of socks And every time I pack, I do make a list, a packing list. I started doing this. Uh, I, <laughs> mind your business. I started. <laughs> I started doing this when I went to Jamaica, and it's helped me tremendously. I mean, I always make like a little note. I always make notes of what I need, but I actually created created an actual list that I can use every single time and just switch things out. Nipple covers. Oh, and I set my alarm for 7.50 for 8 o'clock. It's currently 7.55, so I'm doing okay in regards to the packing situation. Number covers, socks, and what else did I say? That's really it. Oh, a bra. <laughs> a bra, because one of my outfits actually required me to wear a bra. Um, I think that's it, Stush. Yeah, um, it's looking a little, a little tight in here, but believe me, I'm going to get it done. So I still have to put my tripod on. Oh, let me put tripod on here, too. But for the most part, you know... 
we got the majority of the things in here oh i said i was gonna add another sleepwear or something that i could sleep in something light sleepwear but yeah for the most part i'm done packing i just have to figure out what i'm gonna wear to the airport tomorrow but i think i already know and yeah girl yeah i gotta remember to bring my jean jacket <laughs> now me still adding stuff but i'm gonna wear my jean jacket so that i'm not cold on the plane and if it's a little cool in the night i can always have that jean jacket i don't think it's gonna be cool at all in texas in the night but just in case just in case so yeah that's pretty much it y'all i still have to fix the nail i have to paint my toes because i didn't get to run to the nail salon i have to fix my nail paint my toes nair and i'm pretty much all set because i already shaved my face all my makeup is packed i probably just have to bring my makeup in my hand with my other bag because um it's, it's not gonna fit in this bag at all it sure ain't gonna fit in this bag so that's really all that i have to bring in my hand um but for the most part we are ready to go i might actually wear a two-piece set that i shared with you guys in my last haul clothing haul um one of those target sets with my sneakers one of the sneakers that i'm bringing so i low-key feel like i have too many shoes but they all work with my outfit so i'm gonna bring them i'm gonna bring them and that's it so i'll figure it out but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i really want to be able to edit this video so i can have it ready hopefully fingers crossed for sunday um i'm not gonna be here sunday so I'm going to go ahead and end the video out. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Hopefully, it doesn't take me forever to edit. If you guys see a little something extra in the edits, I apologize. But I'm going to try to really swiftly edit this video. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and definitely stay tuned to see the content that I'm going to create in Texas. And make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at The Stitch Life. Make sure you follow me on TikTok at The Stitch Life. To see some of the outfits that I'm packing with me and see what else i do in texas girl make sure you follow me um but i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys leave a thumbs up down below make sure you comment something down below as well let me know if you've ever been to dallas texas y'all know i went to houston last october we're back again in dallas so share this video with a friend until next time i'll see you guys all later bye guys mm -hmm.